you're an electronics hobbyist like me, chances are you've run across another channel here on YouTube from a guy named Lid Motor. And this is essentially what he does a lot of is build little motors out of lids. Now this is an electromagnetic pulse motor, which has a fancy name, but it's actually fairly simple on how to build it. And I wanted to kind of do a quick and dirty just to see if I could get one to work. And obviously it does. Uh, all it consists of is this sewing bobbin here wrapped in 30 gauge magnet wire and an old plastic lid and that has neodymium neodymium magnets on it all the same polarity facing outward um, this is my own little personal touch is the neodymium magnet suspension and that was the limit friction and just kind of be able to move it around to find the sweet spot here between the coil and the other component here is the reed switch this is what triggers the pulse when the magnet comes by and you're only a I think a buck 42 on eBay free shipping so definitely worth it got 10 of them <clears throat> and then here for the flyback voltage I have this little blue LED I could put it back into the system or charge something but hey I like blue LEDs and it is only running on a little under six and a half volts which these things can run on a lot less if you really spend a lot of time you can get them run on next to nothing in fact they've got them running on crystal crystal cell batteries for I think like years so that would be a fun thing to try someday for me now <clears throat> one of the things I wanted to try and do here is on this flyback I thought well why not put a jewel thief on top of that and see if I can get this 50 watt blue LED to light and we'll see if it does. Yes, it does. I'm still a little unclear on, on why this works uh, because the forward voltage on, on these 50 watt LEDs are pretty high. And it's like, to even get this thing to turn on, you need to give it like 25 volts, I think. And that's just barely to see anything. So why it's turning on with such a low voltage with this jewel thief, I'm still unsure. I'm sure it has something to do with the frequency. But obviously you see the pulsing, and that's from the flyback from the, the circuit switching off. So that one still goes too. And it's actually pretty bright. I mean, you wouldn't want to stare at this, even with the daylight. So it's kind of a neat little side effect here from this motor. But yeah, fairly simple to put together. Uh, there's tutorials out there. I mean, not too in-depth, but it's not that complicated. And I'd highly recommend somebody trying this for themselves. So, just wanted to share. So, thanks for watching. Take care. God bless. I'll see you. Bye-bye.